The Adventures of a Christmas Elf Tuesday, 27th of October. I'm so lucky. When I pulled back the curtain of my attic bedroom, first thing this morning, I gasped in wonder. It had snowed in the night. A bright crescent moon was smiling in the crisp dark sky and all the rooftops in the East Village were gleaming white. Quick as a flash, I rushed downstairs, pulled on my curly-toed boots, and burst out into the street. We live in the most crowded part of town, but there were no footprints or sleigh tracks anywhere. Everywhere I looked, the snow was completely untouched. Dragging my foot, I wrote my name in the snow. Then I stood still, looking up at the stars, breathing in the icy air. As I skipped back inside to make breakfast for my younger brothers and sisters, I felt so grateful to be alive, grateful to be a Christmas elf, helping to make the toys for Father Christmas, grateful for my family, even though being the middle child of ten can be tricky at times and grateful for my friend Holly Father Christmas's daughter because she always has my back and together we've shared so many adventures but then as I dusted the snowflakes from my cap I remembered that underneath all the fresh snow Everything was still the same, and my heart sank. Because to be quite honest with you, things in the workshop have been a little tense recently. <laughs> 